part one, we're gonna explore what the wrist movements are that can lead to the club face potentially being too open and why is the wrist movement so important when it comes to controlling the club face and hitting the shots that you wanna hit. When I'm working with players, we're looking at exploring how their body moves. In the Obsessed Golf Club, that's my new program that I have out. We look at over 30 different movements of the body to make sure you understand what factors and, and how your gifts and limitations can factor into your swing. So when we're looking at wrist mobility and movement, okay? So if my wrist is going too much into extension, okay? So you gotta know sort of where your wrist ranges are, okay? So with a neutral grip, if my grip's in there neutral, okay? So when I go into wrist extension and my wrist feels more comfortable going into wrist extension, okay? So extension is, say, cupping of the wrist. The wrist is going this direction, okay? So watch what the club face does. If I start neutral and then my wrist feels more comfortable doing that, that face is gonna be open, okay? So face being open as I come into impact, if we're looking at flexion extension of that wrist, if I start with a neutral grip and my wrist feels, based on how I move, it likes to go this way, okay, which is extension. So if my wrist gets too extended, I make a great swing, that ball is gonna go high and it is gonna be cutting, okay? Even though I came from the inside, because the club face was so open, that caused the ball to want to still slice, okay? So when we're looking at understanding the wrist movement, we need to know what our ranges are from a flexion and extension standpoint. If we understand what that is, then we can make that adjustment. For this player, what is that adjustment, okay? So one is, First, making sure they understand that this is too much movement. Their wrist didn't actually like to go into flexion, so it's not like I was saying do this, okay? Because that didn't match them, that didn't fit their wrist. But a real easy adjustment if your wrist likes to get into a big amount of extension at the top is I just start with it at a dress with a little bit more extension. Then when I get to the top, my neutral wrist position is actually a square face now. And with that neutral wrist position and a square face, our club face control is gonna be better, right? There's some people that's the total opposite when it comes to grip and what they need to do, but for this player, that was the correct thing based on their movement, based on their limitation, and what way their body liked to move. Thousands of ways to swing the golf club and hit great shots. That's part one, why you might be hitting a slice. It could be because of how your lead wrist works and what your body's comfortable with doing with that lead wrist. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.